its gills were just barely going. It's sad. 15 year old Eric Pye and his friends came across a sand tiger shark at 1130 Monday night. It was in knee deep water at Carolina Beach in front of the boardwalk. Pye says police told them to drag the shark on shore and then just sat back at their cars and watched. They were just like, sons, bring it up here. We're like, why? Why bring it up here? Because we were trying to survive or we're trying to make it live. No, you got to bring it up here. You got to bring it up here. And we're like, we're not going to bring it up there. And they're like, bring it up right now. And like started yelling at us and stuff like that. And like telling us that they're going to, you know, arrest us and stuff like that. Evan's mother, Cindy, isn't happy with the way police handled the situation. Letting 15 year old boys go down and pull the shark out when grown men should have done it. Um, I think that was a very dangerous situation. Police called a tow truck to get the shark off the beach before tourists arrived in the morning. I just got on it, lifted his tail up, tied a tie rope around it, and drug it in and left it in there and then I took it to a disposal area. Evan says his friends were told the shark was going to be studied to figure out what was wrong with it. Instead, it was dumped. Not only was this shark brought out to the maintenance yard and left to decompose, somebody actually came out here and pulled all of its teeth out. Experts at the Fort Fisher Aquarium think the shark was caught by a fisherman and put up such a big fight it was tired and may have come close to shore to die. The sand tiger is a protected species. Shark experts say last night's actions may have compromised the health of this one. My son asked for the police department to put it out of its misery if they're not going to put it back in the water. And um, I think that that should have been something done. It should have been put out of its misery if they're not going to put it out in the water instead of just letting it just inhumanely die on the beach. In Carolina Beach, Haley Winslow, WWAY News Channel 3.